people, I am Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new lecture of C programming. Today we are learning matrix multiplication using two dimensional arrays. Extremely important program from exam point of view. Scan your 10 last 10 papers, you will see it at least three times. Not just that, not just from the purview of C programming. Tomorrow, as you proceed ahead in engineering, you will be learning data structures, you will be learning computer graphics robotics, image processing, etc. I'm a computer engineer, I've learned all these subjects, some of these I also teach. So I know how many times in your engineering you'll require to multiply matrices. So instead of every time wondering how to do it and every time getting stuck at this one problem, once for all, 30, 40 minutes, whatever it takes, put that effort once and learn this program like a pro. Why I'm saying like a pro? I've seen many students, in fact, many teachers also, taking the shortcut in this program by predefining the size of the matrix. Yeah, if, you, if somebody's teaching you a program to multiply a three by three matrix by a three by three matrix, that person is just fooling you because that program will work only for that size. The moment I change the size of the matrices, that program will fail because it doesn't have that third inner loop. The program that I'm gonna give you will be a flexible program. It can be scaled to any level. It can multiply any size matrix with any size matrix. Of course, following the rules of multiplication. You know what is the rule? Matrix A has rows and columns. Matrix B has rows and columns. The number of columns in matrix A should be the same as the number of rows of matrix B. That is a rule that you got to follow because that is mathematics. Otherwise, the matrix matrices cannot be multiplied. But following that rule, matrix A can be of any size. Let's say two by four matrix and matrix B can be four by seven matrix. Still, your program should be able to produce a two by seven matrix as the result. All right. Taking the rows from the first matrix and the columns from the second matrix, you derive your third, third matrix. So I'm going to give you a flexible program that can multiply any side matrices. And this one program, which you learn it once in your first, second year of engineering, you'll be using it practically in every semester in some subject or the other. And every time you use it, there'll be a smile on your face. You will pray. This is your interview question during your coding interview because you're going to do it better than everybody else. People think this program is tough. It's not at all tough. Once you know how to work in those three levels of loops, it's one line of code. Yes, unbelievable. It's one single line of code that calculates the value of all those elements. All right, I'm going to make you get to that line and understand that line, not mug it up. Understand that line so that you can apply it in any program you want. All right, so that's the introduction. This is what we're going to be doing. This whole lecture and the whole course of C programming and various other courses are there on my website bharatacharyaeducation.com the link is given down below click on the link you'll see all these courses that i teach select the course you want to learn of course this program is this video is there in the c programming course once you selected the course you'll see all the videos that are there already make the payment the fees are 1499 there are these surprise discounts of 10 percent 15 percent which go on on the website it'll be there you'll see it you don't need any coupon to be automatically applied make the payment as soon as you do that your course becomes active your course is active for six months you can watch the videos as many times as you want and that's what i want you to do watch it re-watch it learn every nuance of programming and practice programs you can't watch, look, watch someone swim and think you know how to swim swimming cycling programming guitaring these are skills which you have to acquire you can't learn by just watching it do it practice it till the time you master it till the time it becomes second nature to you to write programs all right show me your results Every time I see these wonderful results by students, I post them on uh, by various social media platforms and it feels so nice when you read those messages where students say, sir, I'd never written one line of program in my life and you're making me write such big, fabulous programs and you're really enjoying it. It's a journey. You have to do it in one language. Once you know how to write programming in one language, you can write program, do programming in any language. Then just moving between languages is just learning the syntax and basic uh, fundamentals of that language. But the skill of program programming is learned once in one particular language. I'm glad that I have the opportunity of teach, teaching this to you and playing an important part in your life as life journey as a programmer. Okay. Anyway, hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Do well. We're going ahead.